big and strong, I might not be able to get you in that, and you do something crazy, and then I end up in a completely different move that honestly I never practiced before. <laughs> so as I pass through here, if you jump, as I do this, that's when this happens. It's all that happened. It wasn't really a pre-planned move. I wish I could see it was. It was just that I was holding onto a horse and I saw an opportunity. So once I got here, I just made sure that when I caught him, that I tried to keep my knee as much here as possible because his knee was starting to come out. At this point, I just used my hips to drive forward as hard as I can to try to break everything. I can get on. They mount like this. And then I see guys just do this. And I'm like, wow, all you had to do was this. <laughs> you might win the fight. I don't really consume myself with keeping it rolling. It's too hard. If he has a belt, this is this is from Gay Jiu Jitsu, this is why you have to practice no key. Reaching for someone's hip, look at how powerful someone's back is. There ain't no way I'm holding on to this guy. But I can just hold his foot. Now he goes a step over the top and I can just accelerate him. All I want to do is make sure he can't roll faster than me. So I just hold here until I get comfortable and now I can go ahead. Once his elbow comes out, I pull my hips out. I put my knee across this midsection. I put my hand on my thigh. And this helps me clear out his other hand. Now here's the thing, a lot of people make a mistake. They just twist. If I do this, I can get James tap. But see how he's gonna go over the top? From here, honestly, even sometimes like Sergio Payne showed me this move, he puts his feet on your feet. The reason why is because I'm actually just pulling away from you. I just want to do this. That's what I can bring your shoulder. <laughs> To be powerful, that's all I need. See how I break him off his power line? If I keep his foot straight, he can put going. He can straighten his leg out. I can't hold him. My grip's not going to be powerful enough. Here, though, I'm going to keep the leg out. I can hold him all day long. No one's strong like this. This is a position to be. Once I have it broke, I go two hands, I drive, and see how I can pull it up, drive it down, and pull his toes <laughs> Up. He might go for the gator roll, whatever he does, I'm just secure and lock it. Now I'm going to go back. Then, when I cross my ankles, I straighten my feet. I drive the shoulders to the mat so that I can come up. Once I have the shoulders to the mat, I can do the finish. Once I do that, he's really screwed because I have this. And he can't kick me because he can't get out and I'm behind him so he can't punch me. So I have all day long to sit here and decide to break his ankle.